Welcome back to the basement yard. Danny, how you doing, pumpkin? What's up, baby girl? I just made you hesitate. Did I, I flustered you? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know why I, I said had, that. I had to fire back with the name. I was like, oh, no. I didn't even listen. What'd you call me? Baby girl. Ooh, that makes me feel so warm. I know. Always reminds me of Fabulous, though. It's like, baby girl, I know your situations. Yeah. Have you ever called someone baby girl? Hell yeah. You. R- Multiple times. No, oh, I'm I, have I ever called like, a, a female? Yeah, like chicks. No, 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 no. I've been like, what's up, baby girl? I don't have it in me to do that. I'm not that cool. No, no. I don't I don't think I have any. Have you ever called someone shorty? Yes. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine me doing that? That's my shorty. What's up, shorty? But I don't say shorty. I'll be like, shouty. Shouty. Like, you say it like fucking T.I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, Shouty is my shouty. Remember the movie ATL? Do I? He takes, he like rips the chain off Lauren London. He's like, get up out of here. You ain't from the hood. <laughs> Dude, what a time back then. They Mike wa- Jones. They just wanted the roller skate. That was it. Do you know how big of a Ying Yang fans I was? Uh, I, but hello? If you were Ying Yang Twins fan, I was. If you weren't a fan of the Ying Yang Twins, like, not, no, not one part of you was cool. Dude, literally, like in eighth grade, I was just walking around the halls going, Wait, do you see my dick? A hey, bitch. And then people were like, What the fuck? Like, I was just walking around whispering, like, all the time. You probably thought you were so cool, too, like, while you were so saying So cool. That. Yeah. Whispering to people, like, Wait, do you see my dick? Yeah. Yo, do you remember when Usher came out with Yeah? Like, the song Yeah? Yeah. And he goes, Peace up, A Town Down. When the first time he did that, I was like, "Yo, peace and A." Oh my god, I was mind blown. The first time I ever heard "Skook It, Skook It," I was like, "Oh, oh. my god, what is this?" You wanted to make up, yo. It makes you want to put on baggy jeans and Air Force Ones and just start like in the club sliding. with my homies. That shit made me want to go crazy. And then when he takes his chain in the music video and he like throws it around his neck, he's like, oh, like a hula hoop. I'm like, damn, dude, this dude can move. And then the beat cuts out. He's like, there's one more dance and I'm like, yeah, how the hell am I supposed to leave? And, I and said, then Lil yeah. John in the background, and then the beat back. <laughs> Yo, that song is amazing. I need to that listen to that song as back. soon as we're done here. Ludacris. Ludacris. That's another good song. Oh, damn, Lovers yo, and first Friends First time, no, amazing. peace up, ASAP. What? Lovers and Friends is one of my favorite songs ever, I think. <sighs> Ludacris. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, by the way, Usher, in that music video, he that was about 40 years ago. He looks exactly the same. Usher? Didn't uh, uh, Lil John or Usher, you said? No. <laughs> I don't know what Lil John looks like. <laughs> you know what Lil John looks like. I do, but like. like I don't. Like He's always wearing sunglasses and hats, and you know I just can't really see him. I told you the story how I hung out with Lil John, right? Yeah, that's a, amazing. Uh, such a r- iconic person to hang out with. I know. So we go to this uh, club. Uh, where the fuck did I go? It wasn't Marquee. It was Tao. I don't know where I, where I was. Uh, so we go there, and my buddy, who's a DJ, was like, "Yo, listen, like I'm here, like with my boy." And I'm like, all right, cool. Like, yeah, we'll come through. So, like, I go through with a couple of people, and it's fucking Lil John. It's like, yo, you forgot to mention your little boy is fucking Lil John. Yeah, and I was just like, yo, oh, what? Yo, I pulled up on him. I was just like, yo, bro, bro. And I like, I was like, I love you. He was like, he's like, yeah. He's like, that's cool. And I was like, oh my god. He said, yeah. And then he was like, yo, let's do Don Julio shots. And I was like, yeah, dude, we're gonna drink Don Julio. So I got, I fucking wasted with Lil John. I made, a, I made a vine. I made a vine with him too. I thought you were gonna say I made a vibe with him, and I was about to fucking end this whole show. You're about to just flame me. Yeah. Oh, yo, we hung out and we made a vibe. <laughs> yo, yo we, people we, from California love talking about like it's a vibe. Vibes off. I'm like, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, yo, let's go somewhere and catch a vibe. Let's go on a hike and like just catch vibes, catch each other's vibes. Like, what does that <laughs> even mean? I don't know. I think it's like something about like I don't even know, bro. Like an aura. Like what's the something? what's the equivalent? They're mad spiritual out there. Yeah, like what's the equivalent of like New York lingo vibe? Like let's catch a vibe. I think we just say just like let's hang out, and they're like, yo, let's just go catch a vibe somewhere. <laughs> it's like yeah, so bro. odd to me. So odd to me. Somebody will explain it in the comments. I'm sure. Let's ride the vibe. Let's, let's just ride. read your vibe. I'm reading bad vibes. I hate it. You know. When people say the vibe is off and it's not off, probably drives me more insane than anything else on this planet. 
Vibes off right now. <laughs> it, I'm just like, what are you talking about? I'm fine. If someone fucking said that to me, of like we walked into a bar and they're like, I don't know about this place. The vibe is off. I'd be like, bro, go fucking pray somewhere. Yeah, what's wrong with you? I don't, I don't get it. Uh, go recycle or some shit. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. It's uh, fucking strange. The other thing that's strange is that uh, COVID is going crazy in Florida right now. And yeah, you're right. Now you're in a fucking, basically a Petri dish. You know what, you know what's happening? It's following you. I know. That's because what I was going to Because you were in New York, and New York was burning to the ground, and then you left, and now the fire's following you. I'm a little afraid. Yo, nobody wears masks down here, and I don't want this to be like, let's just like shit all over Florida, but it's going to happen. Uh, nobody <laughs> wears a mask down here. I wear, I'm masked up. I'm gloved up. Uh, I had to go out yesterday because I've been trying to find a PlayStation. You would think that a PlayStation 4 is the cure to COVID right now. Can't find I, it. I cannot find one anywhere, and I'm starting to fucking lose it. All I want is a fucking PlayStation 4 so I could stay inside and play The Last of Us 2 and just live my fucking life. There's a lot of weird things that you can't find right now. Like, you probably can't find a PlayStation 4. You can't get a bike. Dude, the bike shop in my neighborhood has a line down the block like fucking Pacha. What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck is wrong? Why does everybody want to buy? Why are there so many weird things that people want to buy now? Yo, also jigsaw puzzles. Can't find them. No, they're all gone. Scarce. Dude, the I jigsaw market is up. Yo, dude. you know what else is up too? The Connect 4 fucking uh, market is up. I looked for Connect 4 in multiple stores. Couldn't fucking find it. One of the best games of all time. But why are people getting Connect Four when we still have electricity? That's the, these are the <laughs> things I don't understand. Because they're stuck inside. You can only scroll on Instagram and look at boobies for so long. You got to play Connect Four sometimes. You know? I know, but it's just like, come on, dude. And then the weird. I always think about shit like this too. It's like it's so weird that like no thought is an original thought. Why? So like me being like, yo, like. We're stuck in here. Like, let's get, like, Connect Four and, like, do something, like, different. Millions of people have already thought it way before me, and now I can't yeah. get a Connect Four. So PlayStation 4, I'm like, you know what? We're probably going to get locked down some type, like, down here maybe, if it keeps getting crazy. I was like, let me make sure I just have a PS4 so I can play this game. I cannot find one to save my fucking life. What? Yeah. So that's that makes more sense to me though. Like people want to go outside and buy video games and shit because they know they're gonna be inside. But this whole thing about like jigsaw puzzles being out, people want to ride bicycles. Like what the fuck are you doing? I mean, I want to ride a bike. I, have I know, a bike. but it's a, but it's not it's not 1954. There's more like fun things to do than ride a bike. I mean, it's not like people are like oh man, you can't find any wooden tops and jacks or whatever the fuck old people used to play with. What the fuck is a wooden top? Like you ever, you ever, <laughs> like a like a, a like a non-Jewish dreidel. Oh, okay, all right. You know, it's, just it, like it's a, a dreidel. Piece of wood. It's like those seltzers that have like the the Hebrew letters on it. They're yeah, not, yeah, it, yeah. It's just a non-kosher dreidel. Yeah, it's not blessed by a rabbi. It's yeah, just yeah, wood. Yeah. yeah, it's just. wood. I think that's what that is. Um, but you know, only old ass people play with that. Isn't it so weird how like people back in the day were entertained by like the weirdest shit? And also, speaking of bikes, people back in the day rode that fucking bike with one big ass wheel and then one tiny wheel. Who designed that? I don't That's know. That's so wrong, and it obviously is wrong. You want to know what was the thinking to, the, to get to that point? Just be like, you know what would be cool? If we just made that front wheel just a little bit smaller. You know what would be awesome for a bike? One that you have to literally scale like Spider-Man to get on. And then if you hit a bump in the road, you're dead. How'd you get up there? How do they get up there? They have to like climb on the back of another man or something. But it's also, dangerous. Also, a unicycle? If a unicycle isn't used for like the Ringling Circus... What are we using a unicycle for? Speaking of uni, I've been riding a bike and running and shit, so I'm out there on the streets. The amount of people that are riding electronic, one-wheeled, skateboard-looking things is insane. I've seen, like, eight. What? 
first it of all, it looks like one car wheel with a piece of car like wood on either side of it, and they just stand on it and they just fucking fly. Like a unicycling idiot. And they kind of like lean forward a little bit too. They're like, I'm like, whoa, that thing is pretty fucking cool. But how do you get off of it? I don't know, man. I saw someone get on it and like start it. They start it like you're standing at the edge of a ramp, like about to drop in like Tony Hawk and shit. And then they just like step on it and it fucking takes off. No, no way. I'm, I'm how gonna do you fuck- slow down? I'm going to bust my shit on that. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Like that, like that. I love like little cool vehicles, though. Like that's one of my favorite things. What is that? What do you mean? Like I love like scooters and bikes, and I love all that shit. But like I could, I, I, <laughs> I, I little vehicles. I do. I love them. Uh, I. Oh my god. Oh my god. My phone. Sorry. Is it? It's not next to the thing, is it? Because then what? it's gonna go like. Oh no no. <laughs> Do you remember no, that video of that Australian guy, like, uh, describing that dog? Oh. <laughs> Dude. It came <laughs> barreling over. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the fucking, that guy, <laughs> the transition was so fast. So, like, he came over and just, <laughs> <laughs> His wife is standing right there. I'm like, Yo. A part of me respects him for it because it's like, you know what? He did like a real impression of it, but this person is a fucking maniac. Oh, God, dude. He came barreling. Came <laughs> barreling over. <laughs> oh, man. That's so good. I, love I that fucking shit. love that shit, bro. Um, oh, my God. Listen, I'm just going to get into it. Uh, I talked yeah. about it on the morning meeting. SpongeBob gay? <laughs> <laughs> is he gay? Is he gay or is he asex? Um, I think he's just a cartoon. You know, I think cartoons don't fuck. I've never heard of this. Oh uh, well. You well, I mean, you the haven't Simpsons clicked. Yeah, you haven't fuck. clicked on that side banner of Pornhub. No, I've clicked on that side banner. I've seen Marge take a fucking dragon dick before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but, I've seen that. But do you, do you um, think yo, it's... by the way, Marge Simpson. Way bigger tits on porn websites than uh than in uh the show. Yeah, you know what uh, I mean. That green dress isn't the most appealing dress. Yeah, put something else on. Put a, put a, you know. But she's got hammers. Yeah, but Margie, that's besides Margie's the point. Hot. Margie's hot. Yeah, people are getting banged on the internet. Uh, cartoons. But um, let me actually hold on before we move to this. What we're actually talking about here. Like, give it to me. Give it to me. Do you have you ever indulged in uh you know cartoon porn? Yeah, like when I was younger, that was like a thing. Like everyone you, was just like, wait, Yo, you would like so like you would like you know Digimon's going at it or some shit. No, it wouldn't be like Digimon. It'd be more along like Family Guy, maybe. I wasn't, re- <laughs> I wasn't really like aware that it existed when I was super young. But I'm telling you right now, bro, if I could see a porno when I was super young of Ash fucking Misty. Ooh. I probably wouldn't have come outside nah. that day. You know what I mean? I would have, had, that would have taken a whole afternoon to digest. They could have three-wayed it with Brock, too. I can't have Brock in there. That guy's just amazingly sexy hot. Sexy hot and his... A Blasian man, I think. Yeah, he was Blaze. Um And they had... His main thing was Onyx, was, was obviously codenamed for his cock. Yeah, it was a rock-hard, cock-shaped Pokemon. Dude. <laughs> That means that Brock had a fucking ham dog. In Absolute there. hammer, son. Yeah. Big old hammer. Um, yeah. But yeah, I would watch Ash get it on for sure. Yeah, dude. Like, I could just picture Ash catch him, like, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, Pika- no. Pika- <laughs> Pikachu's in the background, just like chilling and just like making noises. <clears throat> and then Misty comes in. She's got Tokopi on her back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tokopi. And she puts her down. They start going at it, right? And then when he in the middle of it, he does that thing where he takes his hat and he turns it backwards. Woo! And then you know it's like, yo, he's about to like give her some pokey balls right Hell now. Hell yeah. And then he just destroys her gym. <laughs> oh, destroys her gym. Oh man. Oh, man. I love when things that usually come out of my mouth come out of your mouth because then it's like, you know. <laughs> oh, fuck. I know no, I'm yeah. not the only one. 
you know, it's uh, it's really crazy because um, I I've I I've only like when you go on like Pornhub or whatever, right, and you're scrolling, you'll see these random uh videos that like these thumbnails that have like cartoon stuff going on, and it's always like Avatar. Yeah, first of all, Avatar: Last Airbender. Did you watch that? No, but a lot I of people watched, are talking about it right now. I know it's like all over the place. I don't. I don't understand. I hate when I don't know why things are trending on Twitter. <laughs> it drives me nuts because you click on the trend and you try to like find the original one, but you can't. Yo, by the way, Twitter completely controlled by K-pop fans. Oh my god, everything is like. Yo, what's up? This guy got arrested today, and then it's just like a video of like a Korean kid just dancing. I'm like, what? Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> Dude, the other day, I was like, yo, exactly what you're talking about. It was like Last Airbender, whatever. I click on it, or like, dude, Mitt Romney was trending. I click on the trending topic of Mitt Romney, and all I see is gifts of fucking Korean dudes singing and dancing their asses off. Like yeah. K-pop fans are fucking ruthless. Yeah, they're just like, yeah, I know, like, this is happening, but, yeah, like, this new K-pop song came out. Yeah, it's like, we stan. I don't know any of their names. I wish I did. It's got to be fire, though. Like, I am i don't know any, like, K-pop shit, but, like, it has to be fire for oh. them to be so fucking, like, dedicated to it. You know Joe, what I mean? It slaps. It slaps. It, it has slaps. to slap. K-pop slaps. They don't call it K-pop for no reason. That shit pops. But, <laughs> like, I just don't, like, uh, what was I... Two things on Twitter that were wild to me. Mm -hmm. The cop at McDonald's. Did you see that? I did. This person needs to be taken off the job immediately. I thought it was a bit of an overreaction. I would say so. She's like, she brought me the coffee. And I was like, I don't even want the food because I am so afraid. I'm like, this person has a gun. Let's take him off the streets. I... <laughs> So for people who don't know, I mean, there was this female cop who like pulled into a McDonald's. Give us a break. She, she, uh, she ordered like a egg McMuffin or some shit and a, or a McGriddle and a coffee, which by the way, McGriddles are fucking good. Oh my God. I could literally eat a thousand of them. It's like, oh, you want a bacon, egg, and cheese in between two pancakes that are filled to the g -g 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 gills? Here's a fucking McGriddle. Dude, and also the pancakes are surgically injected with syrup. Oh. Are you kidding me, dude? Groan. They're so, I want it so bad. I want it so I would, bad. Yeah, I would do anything for that. Do you remember when McDonald's like played all of us and made us all look like cucks? Because we fucking they, they were like, yo, breakfast all day, no McGriddle. And we're like, what the fuck are you were you offering us then? Yeah, and the other thing too is the crispy chicken sandwich uh crispy fillet of fish or chicken sandwich. It's not available after midnight. What happens after midnight? Yeah. What is that? What is that about? Why can't the you have The ghouls come out? And why is the McFlurry machine always broken? Why is there so many fucking things going wrong in McDonald's? It's 2020, and it's a machine that makes ice cream. There's an entire industry that thrives off of making ice cream. I go to the ice cream store. I go to Dunkin' Donuts, or I go to Baskin Robbins. Thriving. They're fucking, their machines are fucking pumping. Why is the machine at McDonald's not working? You get the Oreos, you get M&M's, bitch. <laughs> I get the M&M's. <laughs> Yeah, M and M slap. M and M slap. Oh. I like the Oreo too, though. I like smoothness with some with some bumps. Okay, if that makes any sense. You know okay. what I mean? Because like you take a scoop of that shit and then you go, mm, mm, and then there's some bumps, which are the M and Ms, and then I get to chew that. It's a have lot of ever, different textures. Have you ever chewed an M and M and the skin of the M and M cuts your mouth? No. What's with you always getting cut by like random shit? I don't know. You're a bloody guy. How fucking hard do you eat, dude? Hard, yeah. Apparently. Hard. You cut I, I was, your mouth on shit. I was told that I chew gum like obnoxiously loud. Well, there was that time that like we were talking about Tootsie Pops, and you were like, "Oh, dude, they like cut my mouth." I was like, "I literally no, have never Tootsie cut my Pops one hundred percent cut the roof of your mouth." I don't want to yeah, hear. If you anything. bite them, like I no, 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 no. do that because for some reason they would always have these cracks in them, these little like or, like uh, crust cracks, like a planet. Yeah. Like I, and they would cut your mouth if you if you licked it too hard. Who licks a lollipop? You lick a, a lollipop lo like a 
Like yeah. a cat? Yeah, a lot of people. A lot of people, no. you suck and lick. No, I just I just suck. Joe, you suck and you lick. There's two things you do with a pop. I don't lick pops. I suck pops. Yeah. I just put it in my mouth and I suck on it. But I don't like... <laughs> And paint my tongue with it. Yeah, what about ice cream? Do you lick ice cream? I'll be honest. I lick the shit. Yeah, dude. All right. Like a cat cleaning itself, I lick that. And I always... I lick... I like, lick at the bottom. And... I, yeah. <laughs> I lick at the bottom, too, and I, like, turn it, and I like to spin oh. it all the way up. You know what's the best, too, when you get to the bottom of those wafer cones? And you suck the chocolate or the vanilla that got stuck in the little six crevices? And you're just like... Yeah. <laughs> And then you get to chew it all at once and it becomes like a little ice cream sandwich. Yeah. I like that <laughs> shit. Do you know? Love that shit. You get to suck it out of the little holes. I'm going to ask you something like weird. Yeah. Have you I'm... ever like bitten like the top of your ice cream? Yeah, I've done that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I bite my ice cream sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because... But once I get to like the cone, like it's like flat. I get yeah. cone, just cone. Yeah. Then I bite the bottom and I just start funneling it into my throat. Like yeah, I just start dude. sucking it out. Oh. Like I'm siphoning something. You know what's cool too? Because it has holes at the top too. Yeah. So you get the. <laughs> <laughs> so you literally go hold a hold. It's going. <laughs> and then you bite into it. <laughs> I need ice cream so bad. Dude. I need one of those cones so bad. Did you? Uh, got, yo, have you ever gotten the cherry swirl. dipped thing? I've gotten the cherry dipped thing. I'm more of a fudge guy, though. I want <laughs> I a like fudge, fudge. I like a fudge shell because then you could bite the top. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh, do you? <laughs> I just got mad excited. Whoa. Do you remember? <laughs> Which I want ice cream. Uh, do you remember when you you could go to the store and buy the shell top shit? Yes. And it was. Dude, I was, like, blown away by this when I was younger. It was, like, literally, like, chocolate syrup that you would just put on your ice cream, and it would just turn to stone. Like, like listen, Medusa looked at it. Yeah. And it was fucking good, dude. <laughs> like, like, listen, I understand. I fully understand if it comes out of a machine, I could make that work in my head. Like, oh, my God, this came out of a machine. Like, I get it. To see it just come out of basically my hands... Made me feel like like a god almost. I'm like an ice cream yeah. god. So I was like, Yo, wow, um, watch me make this hard. <laughs> I can make this fucking ice cream hard. Did you ever watch get the, me? Did you ever get the Reese's syrup? No. Oh. Whoa, that sounds intense. Yo, so good. Yo, strawberry fucking syrup. Like strawberry milk, like that syrup. Yeah. What is in that? High fructose corn syrup, baby. Literally, I w I have never thought about doing this in my life, but that stuff is so good that I would be willing to lay on the ground and throw my legs over my head and open my ass and let you dump a whole bottle in my ass. Yeah, dude. I mean, you probably go into fucking diabetic coma, but uh, yeah, like you know, real it, fast, it, it'd be worth it though. There it'd need be to it. be a medic on site, but I feel like it would be good. Do you remember when Stevo? Uh, funneled a beer in his ass. Funneled a beer into his ass, and then he also had a IV of vodka put into his like main veined it. Wait, is that <laughs> allowed? Yeah, I guess he main veined vodka into his bloodstream, got hammered. I wonder how fast you'd get like drunk on something like that. Very fucking fast. Well, yeah, I mean, I assume. Yeah, would you ever do that, like, just to try it? Fucking no. Dude, no way. I'd be I'd be terrified. I'm, you know what I'm terrified of, like, with needles? Because don't they say, like, if you put, like, an air bubble in your vein, good night? Yeah, that, yeah, they say that. I don't know if how true that is, though. <laughs> your, mean, boy has been, just... your boy has been IV'd up. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you get in in a fucking hospital, you hope that these people know what they're doing. Yeah, that's true. Even though one time I went to the hospital to get blood taken, and this woman was crocheting my vein. Dude, I was getting fucking lit up by this woman. Oh, that's the worst. I was like, she is it your find first vein? day? Huh? She just couldn't find a vein? I am basically translucent. It's very easy to find it. Yeah, I But she see, kept, I like, doing seven. it and being like, oh, no, and then doing it again. And I'm like, lady, I'm going to have Braille on me by the time we get out of here. Because she was poking fucking holes at me. The worst is when you have a huge bruise after one. It's like, God, why? Why is this happening? 
Do you remember those shots back in the day you had to get? It was like a TB or like a boot or something or whatever, and it would bubble up. Yeah, that would mean you had tuberculosis, though. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Well, I don't know if, if I ever a, if had that. You get that. a TB shot, you get yeah. pressed. If there's like a ring around it, that means you have tuberculosis. You had tuberculosis. <laughs> no. That's not a normal reaction to a TB shot. That means you had TB. That's not. <laughs> you got a little kid running around with tuberculosis. What is it, 1947? Yeah, dude, I'm wondering. I'm just saying, I've been TB'd my whole life. And I'm somehow fine. Are you wearing like a paperboy hat and shit? <laughs> the black lung? Yeah. Shit. No, dude, I, I don't. I never got it, but I remember being young and being, thinking about like if you had like a bubble on your arm, like after a shot or something. Like, I don't know. That just popped into my head. I don't know if I've ever had a bubble. Oh, do I don't remember, think I've ever had TB, is what I'm trying to say. I would hope not. All signs point to that you had tuberculosis, though. Um, <laughs> so. Do you remember? I don't when, even know what the symptoms are. Do you remember when you would play video games as a kid? I don't know why I just started playing the drums. Uh, yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh, do you remember when you would play video games and you get that blister on your finger? Mm-hmm. Like on your thumb? Mm-hmm. Do you remember how satisfying it was to see all the water come out of a blister? I still... I had to do that not too long ago on my Achilles. Now, here's what I need to understand. A blister with water in it doesn't hurt. As soon as you take all that water out, burn city. It just yeah. starts burning. Why is that? Yeah, what is this water? That's another thing, too. Where's this water come from? Why? What are blisters? Like, what's the scientific reason for a blisty? I'm br- <laughs> <laughs> blisty. Blisty. I- I, I'm sure there's an answer, and it's probably very obvious, but I don't know. But I had a blister the other day, and I like them in a way. Because, like, I went for, a, 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 like, a run, and then I felt it. Like, when I got home, I was like, oh, I'm going to have a blister. And then I looked at the bottom of my foot, and it's, like, a little gray. And I'm like, this is going to blow up later, and I'm going to pop it like a fucking water balloon. Oh, it's the best. Popping pimples, also the best. Uh, I hate popping pimples. No, they're awesome. I would rather pop ten blisters than one pimple. Yeah, you don't really get pimps. I mean, I get pimped. Yeah, but you don't get pimped up. Like, every once in a while, you'll have, like, a little, like, in the corner of your mouth pimp or something. Yeah, I get, like, sweat pimps around my mouth. Or yeah. I get, like, pimp. I got a, yo, I get pimps on the on my hamstrings that are fucking gro- It looked like so- someone shot me with a fucking gun. Bro, they're called, I think they're from Friction. Those ones on the side, on the inside of a male's leg, ladies, if you don't know. They become so big. Big and to, black and blue and, and shit. Yeah, and you have to, like, scratch the top off to, like, get it off. I it's think they the might be, worst. like, ingrown hairs. Yeah, that's like 100% what they are. But Dude, like, it hurts. Yo, it hurts, and you have to scratch them off and just squeeze the bejeebus out of them. I know. <laughs> do, you have, do you have stretch marks, like, where, like, your thighs are? Yeah. I remember from, like, football, that's, like, when that started. But I had no idea, like, what a stretch mark was. So when that was happening, I was like, yo, what the fuck is happening? Mine are, like, purple. Not, like, super purple, but, yeah. like, a shade of purple. I have, And they're well, soft. Yeah, they're really soft. But yeah. you could feel like you could poke into your own skin with it. Like, you could literally finger your stretch mark. Yeah, it looks like a, a jellyfish has had its way with my dick. Yeah. Like, Not my it, dick, but, like, my surrounding dick area. And it gets hidden by your hair. Like, if I was naked, I would just look like a Puerto Rican zebra. Like, that's what it would look like down there. Yeah. Yeah. Some you of them on the side of your ass? On the side of my ass, a couple. I have a couple on the side of my ass. And then I, I, ha- really... I have them here. From, oh, you got From lifting, top. yeah, yeah. And then when yeah. I gained weight, you obviously, like, get some stretch marks and stuff. Now that I'm losing weight, though, I think I'm getting some, too, because I'm losing it fastly. <laughs> fastly? <laughs> Oh, my God. I'm losing it fastly. <laughs> I'm just going to go out there and say it. That's a very nice sweatshirt you have on. Oh, yeah. I wanted to talk about these. Uh, tie-dye, it's coming, dude. And this isn't the only one. There's, like, four other pieces that are also coming in the tie-dye drop. Okay? not put, I think we're putting them out July 1st. Nice. July 1. Okay? 
See, that's when you guys can order them. I know you've probably been staring at it, and you're like, dude. Talk to me. I kind of want the tie-dye. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they're going to be available July 1st. Those okay? vibe. Two different shirts, two different hoodies. All different colors. Okay? Um, but they're going to be dope. This one is fucking awesome. I love this one. It was just the first one I picked up, but they're all fucking cool. I have a bunch right now. Care package coming right to your door, Daniel. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, you're welcome, guys. It's a dream come true for me. Uh, we made it happen. Your, your voices were heard. And, uh, you know, let's just keep working. Let's keep working together. You know, let's if, keep working? No, and I'm just saying, like, if we come as a unit with an idea to Joe, we can get him to do something. We got him to do it. That's what it is. Guys, yeah. I've been working day and night on this for you. Day and night. Day. He's been <laughs> racking his brain. Fist over fist? Is that a thing? Or hand over fist? I don't know what That's that just, means. Is this, this hand? Just, I've, been, uh, I've been working hand over fist. What does that mean? This isn't even hard to do. Maybe it's like, you know how like when you, you when <laughs> like security guards, they stand like this? Oh, yeah, maybe. But that, you're not doing anything there either. Yeah, yeah, that's honestly, that's when you do nothing. What about this? Bend over backwards. What the fuck does that even mean? I don't even know. I, 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 has anyone? Oh, well, like gymnasts can do that. No one's bending over backwards for anybody. Yeah, no, that's impossible. I'd rather do other things for someone than bend over backwards for them. I could bend forward. I could bend forward for you. I just... Dude, do you remember how hard the fucking sit and reach was if you were a boy? The sit and reach? Yeah, like, uh, remember the presidential fitness test? What the fuck was that? I don't think I took that. Dude, you took the presidential fitness test. Was it for the president? Was he doing fucking yeah, it was like research? It was, yeah, for some reason, it was like the White House instilled this thing called the presidential fitness test. And you had to, like do all these things and you get like badges and shit from like the president. I never got a presidential badge. Yeah. Well, you guys were in Queens, so he probably just wrote you guys all off. That's well, why we just did the Maypole. Yeah. First of all, <laughs> I'm happy that this actually came back up. Uh, it, does this have like any, like religious ties or something because it, it, it sounds very, you know, culty. It sounds very like ritualistic. Like the Maypole, like you guys did a cute version of it, but I feel like somebody would die at the end of one of these things. Yeah, you gotta assume that there was some sort of sacrificial virgin in the old ways. <laughs> yeah, like the le like the person that like f fucked the Maypole up the most was like bludgeoned after because like they just couldn't yeah. survive amongst I the wonder others. If anyone I wonder if anyone else has done the Maypole. Because you had never heard of it, right? Dude, when you said that, I thought it was like Maypole, Maple, May. I, I was like, the Maypole? I was like, why is it even called that? Do you do it like in the first day of May or some shit? It was a summer activity, I, but I don't know. And then if you go on YouTube, you can literally see your school doing it. Yeah, you can see my elementary school doing the Maypole. It's just a bunch of kids skipping around and like. Yeah, but you know there was like a process, right? You had to get like selected. You had to yeah, like, no, I mean they would only take like the best athletes in yeah, the school to walk around to with a, to walk around with a string or some shit. Well, you had to skip, so yeah. it wasn't easy. Yeah, I hear you. Skipping hear you. requires some more, you know, coordination. But uh, you got you got paired up with a girl, and then you guys would walk out, and the the whole school is watching this, by the way. They would just bring out this pole. And it had this thing on top that was like a big flower looking thing. And then a bunch of ribbons. Right. And then you would walk out and I get to, I, I got to help hold the hand of the girl that I had a crush on. Uh, her name was Gillian. Gillian. I remember Gillian. There's another one like Jamie something. Uh, uh, Jamie. Yeah. These, these are, <laughs> this is my, uh, Jamie, my Mount, Gillian, your Mount Rushmore of Joe crushes. My Mount Rushmore was Jamie. She was like, you know, the main one. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The George Washington, if you will. And then we had Jane. Okay. Okay. She was a genius, new cursive and shit. Genius Jane. Yeah, she was She was mad smart. She played tennis, went to a specialized high school, the whole bit. Oh. Uh, right? She's special. <laughs> um, and then, 
Wait, she uh, went to, the, wait, what kind of special? A specialized high school, which means... Right, did you... <laughs> did you... <laughs> special... You like special ed? Because <laughs> you went... <laughs> Oh, she. Oh, okay. <laughs> I heard you do that. I thought it was no. special Jane. No, 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 no. She was a very intelligent girl. Mm. So she went to a school that I couldn't go into. You had to like take tests to get into these certain schools. Or whatever. Oh, okay, all right. So she went to, she went to one of those schools. There was Jane, Jamie, <laughs> Jane, and then Gillian. G- Gillian or was it Jillian? No, it was Gillian. It was a G. It was Gillian. Yeah, she was like kind of athletic, but then like in middle school she went a little emo. You know what I'm saying? Started like wearing chains on her pants. There is a point where for some reason, I don't know why, every jock kind of had a thing for an emo girl. I didn't have a thing for emo girls though. No, but no, but not like full emo girl, but like a girl obviously that's just outside of like your your wheelhouse, you know? Like Sure, yeah. Like, like she you know, wears like a like she wears like you know those sleeve glove things. Yeah, yeah. Like she wears gloves with no with no with sleeves and no fingers. Yes, yes, yes. And, and, and they're they, like and striped. Bl- and they're black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or like pink and black. You know. And what then saying? every once in a while, you just be like, okay, all right. Yeah. Like that I'm girl Gillian. This weird like, shit. Yeah, I was the girl Gillian was like you know just, I mean fifth graders don't have style like we're just children that are like you know dressed by your parents. And then in middle school, when you start doing your own thing, I was like, okay. Like, she started wearing, like, ties. So I was like, you know, it's a little weird now. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little I hope they're all doing well. I hope, yeah, can you imagine they see this? I do, I do get hit up by um, the girl Jamie because, like, my mom is good friends with her mom. Oh, okay. And uh, so I still, like, keep, touch, keep in touch with her, like, every so often. But, like, so she'll, people will – someone found her, like, Twitter or something one day. And she, like, hit me up and was sending me tweets. It was mad funny. And my voice cracked. Hello. No, How you that's, doing? Now it's official. Uh, yeah, now it's official. We're back in fifth grade. Now, um, did you ever, like, you know, like, any of these girls? <laughs> no. None, uh, none of them. You didn't get to kiss one? I didn't get to kiss any of my Mount Rushmore, no. Wow. Oh, and then to, to 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 round out my Mount Rushmore here, uh, was this girl uh, Samantha in sixth grade? There's always a who Samantha. was mad tall, like she's not tall, but she was tall to me in sixth grade because I was a short little shrimp. Yeah, shrimpy dimpy. But I walked in the first day of class and I was like, "Hello." Who's this? I tall? didn't say that. I didn't talk to her. But like, who, who this know. tall thing? Yeah, I'm like, yo, who's this tall Puerto Rican Italian woman here? Oh, nice. She was one of us? Yeah, she was. Nice. Google got yeah. one of us. Yeah. Well, uh, but that's my Mount Rushmore of girls that I've never kissed. But one, all the ones that got away. All the ones got away. Hugged all of them. Ugh. Hugs, Hugs were, are huge. Hugs are kind of, it's sometimes better than kisses. Hell yeah. Yo, kisses I, is like a lot of work. Kissing's awesome. Don't get me wrong. But like a like a good old hug. So much better. Send me over the stratosphere. I could get to feel like your 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 bone density. Yeah, yo, and I yeah. could I could just like for whatever reason when you hug someone and your bodies are touching that much, I just feel like we're transferring something. Oh, some for sort sure. of no, no, no. You're transferring energy for sure. Yeah, and it's. A- <laughs> oh my god, you got so bad. <laughs> you are, dude. I just like love the. I just want to hug someone right now, you know? Yeah. Hugging in, I would say, middle school is huge. Huge step for mankind. Oh, God. It was so good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, we're, we're pretty deep into this episode. We're at 40 minutes, so I'm going to get to the uh, sponsors. We're going to get to the sponsors real quick, and uh, then we'll jump back into things here. Uh, first thing we have is better help. Better help. Um, we'll assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Okay, so if you're one, if you're trying to start therapy or do whatever, you can start communicating in under 48 hours. Okay, they have licensed professionals that you know specialize in relationships or depression or anything of the sort. Um, and if you want to change your your uh, therapist, you can free of charge. You know whatever. Um, it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. Okay. Um, so you can visit their website and read their testimonials um, that are posted daily. Uh, and if you go to v- betterhelp.com slash yard, um, 
Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, I just read something weird. Um, so it's betterhelp.com slash yard and join over a million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that is betterhelp.com slash yard and you get 10% off of your first month. Okay. So 10% off your first month, uh, betterhelp.com slash yard. And then next, uh, we have <clears throat> Indochino. Okay. Danny, one of your favorites. Love Indochino. I actually need to go to Indochino. Yes. I remember one day you were like hassling me that we had to go. Um, but Indochino, you can get uh, made to measure clothing at fair prices, including suits, blazers, shirts, and coats. Um, you get to customize everything like the lapel or the fabric, or, you know, you want to monogram something. Um, and they start at just two ninety nine. dollars um, all customizations included. Um, they have showrooms across North America that you can book a virtual appointment, shop online at Indochino.com, spelled I-N-D-O-C-H-I-N-O.com. Um, and right now you will get an extra $30 off any purchase of $3.99 or more at Indochino.com when entering basement at Checo. Uh, Checo. <laughs> at checkout. <laughs> so Indochino.com, put basement at checkout. You get $30 off. Um, but yeah, these suits starting at just two ninety nine, like that is a for a customizable suit that's going to fit perfectly, that is a steal. So go check it out, Indochino.com. Put in the code BASEMENT for $30 off. Okay. Um, so what were you going to ask me about Mount Rushmore here? Oh, no, 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 no. What I was saying was is that, you know, have you ever just been like, damn, I wish I got one of them, you know? Uh, my whole life growing up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, <laughs> at, at what age did you retire the Mount Rushmore, you think? What do you mean? Like, at some point you just moved on you just knew like they were gone it was over i'll be honest i thought they were gone right so i mean the, the first three were gone when i got to middle school my life it was just comp- I, you forget about everything you know yeah, yeah so yeah. I, I the mount rushmore was over the second i left the school for mm-hmm. me um actually that's not entirely true because gillian's dad used to drive us home from school okay. uh because she right. went to my middle school Okay. So he used to drive me home from school. <laughs> he used to drive us home from school. Um, and I don't know how long that lasted, but that was sixth grade. And then we just became different people, me and her. You know what I'm saying? Like she started apart. to wear the chains. Yeah, yeah she started yeah. to wear the chains and wear the ties and, you know, basically Avril Lavigne. And then I went, you know, into, you know, I thought I was like Dominican or something. It's a weird name. Know? It's a weird name. G- Gillian? Yeah. I almost said her full name before, which which would you know that would be weird, but I'm not going to do that. Um, and just before anyone starts digging into my life, I don't follow her on anything, and she's kind of in the wind, so I don't really I haven't seen a picture of her in fucking a decade. Uh, but anyway, uh, so so I that was so then seventh and eighth grade, there's nothing going. on. Well, actually, sixth grade was when uh, the girl Samantha was. Yeah, yeah, don't hold anything back. Don't forget about no, Tall no, Sam. no, dude. I got the timelines all messed up, all mixed up. Then. After that, so we broke up in sixth grade. She called me like two days after we, you know, on summer break. And she's like, I think we should see other people. Literally said that to me in sixth grade. The classic, we should see other people, sixth grader style. Yeah. Um, and then, um, so that happened. I was heartbroken for like, you know, 48 hours. And then, you know, I was on my bike playing basketball or whatever the hell. And then, uh, you know, then my and then I was you know then I just forgot about it. That I dated some people in between in, in middle school. When I got to high school though, my sophomore year, no, my junior year of of uh my junior year of of high school, I was at my football game and I was injured in the beginning of the season. It was like our first like practice game, not the actual like yeah, yeah, season. Yeah. Scrimmage. So and she sh- and then the girl so the girl Samantha from sixth grade showed up. Because her friend was dating someone on the team. So I was like, oh. So I started getting all these feelings again. Played your fucking heart out. Yeah. No, I mean, no, I was injured. Oh. So I didn't play at all. <laughs> so I, I was just, you know, I was sidelined. And I wasn't even, like, they, I couldn't dress because my knee was all fucked up. How'd she look? And, uh, How'd she look? She looked glorious. Oh, good for you. You know? We walked together. Not well, it was like me and the kid was on my team that I was like friends with and his girlfriend and then I talked to this girl and then we talked the entire way to their car. They got in the car and then we just never talked again. Damn, she drove off into the fucking sunset, bro. Into the night, dude. Into the night. Yeah. God. <laughs> it's like the wonder years. Yeah, man, it was it was something. 
<laughs> but that was it. That was it. You know, the next day I, just, I was like, you know what? I'm sworn off of the Mount Rushmore there. D- dude, it was so <laughs> easy to get over heartbreaks when you were a kid. Yeah, because it was like, you know, it's a girl would break up with you and you'd start crying and then your mom would get you a glass of Pepsi and you're like, what the fuck was I mad at? Yeah, you're just like, ah, it's whatever. Like Halo 3's out. But like now it's like, you know. <laughs> If, so, if, if somebody out. dumps you as an adult, it's like you like everything is terrible. No, I actually cried mad hard one time because a girl didn't like me and I didn't like even like try to communicate it. Like I didn't say like, oh, I like you. And then she was like, oh, dude, you're like my brother. It wasn't any of that. I just like I just knew she didn't like me. So I was like devastated Damn. and I started crying. Yo, listen to this story. Right. Devast- so <laughs> devastated Joe. Bro, I was devastation back then. So I, I, so I start crying in my room. I don't know. I don't really know what happened to make me cry this day, but I was crying mad hard. And then my mom comes in my room and she's like, what's going on? Like, she's like very concerned. I'm like, mom, relax. It's fine. It's nothing, you know, whatever. And then, and then she's like, tell me, tell me. I'm like, no, 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 no. And she's like, come on. She's like insisting. So I say, I'm like, mom, relax. It's not like someone touched me or something. Right. And I don't know why I said that, but I just said that like as a kid, like I was trying to be like, mom, relax. It's not a big deal. And that's what I said. Then she got fucking pissed oh. because then she thought I was like covering maybe it up. Ch- yeah. Or something. So she's like, no, you better fucking tell me now. And like, she God. got mad. I remember that. And then I was like, no, nah, I like this girl and she doesn't like me. And she was like, oh, all right. And then she left the room. <laughs> you know, once she found out that I wasn't getting, uh, who sucked ba- your dick. Yeah. Who I wasn't getting bamboozled <laughs> by the uh, local priest or anything. Then she was like, all right, fuck you. No, this girl doesn't like me. Oh, all right, that's fine. All right, toughen up, bitch. <laughs> Get yeah, the right. fuck out of <laughs> oh, me. Two things yeah. went through your mom's head. He didn't get touched, and he's not gay. He'll be okay. That's like in her, <laughs> <laughs> like in her head. It's like, all right, there's no conversation that needs to be had right now. Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a weird day. But, God. you know. Dude, it's... You gotta let some of this out a little more often, dude. <laughs> I feel like some other stuff happened in my day. Did you and Keith go to the same high school? No. What was that like? I couldn't imagine not going to the same school as my brother. We've never been in the same school. I was that never is in the so same school. So odd to me. Uh, that's not true. We were in um, elementary school at the same time, but also like when you're young and someone's even one year older than you, you don't really hang out like that. Um, like in school? No, not in school. But it's like you know, like, like it. It would be weird knowing that like I couldn't walk through the hallway and like my brother wouldn't be like somewhere around there. Really? I was, yeah. That you guys I was never two separate lives. That's so weird. Well, yeah. obviously you and, live two separate lives. You're two different people. But like school wise, <laughs> I ne- I also didn't go to high school with like any of my friends. Well, one of my friends currently, Eric, I went to high school with. And we d- weren't really that close in high school. Yeah. Um, wait, so you went to St. Francis. Where did he go? Keith? Yeah. St. John's. St. John's. Like, yeah. th- like the sister school of the college? I believe. So you guys yeah. both went to private school. Yeah. And it was two different ones. Yes. How does that work? I don't, I don't know. I always wanted to go to that school. Don't you get like, like a discount? Because, don't you get a discount in private school if you put like two of them in there? I don't know. I I think at the time it was harder to get into St. Francis. Cause oh, like so you're, 70- saying you're, you're saying you were smarter than Keith. Yeah. <laughs> my grades, my grades were better than Keith. My, <laughs> my grades were better than Keith's. Back then. Yeah, Joe's at St. Francis. Uh, we put Keith at St. John's. Uh, everybody knows why. Poor guy. No. <laughs> no, that's not why. No, St. Saint Fra- Saint, <coughs> Francis is like 75 is passing. Oh, okay. So if you, get a, if you get a 74, you fail. Like, it's like... You have oh, to have like, fuck, dude. I would have been yeah. kicked the fuck out of there. Yeah, so it was like, you know, whatever. But, um, yeah, so that's why Keith went to, to St. John's. I went to St. Francis because I like idolized my brother Thomas growing up and he went there and then I started going to their basketball camps and then I really wanted to play for their basketball team. So that's why I went because I wanted to like play basketball for that team. Um, and then, yeah, then, you know, didn't go to college. <laughs> <laughs> and then they recruited like a whole bunch of kids to play basketball. 
exactly. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I got cut from the freshman team, so <laughs> never How tried out the, again. It was Keith's birthday yesterday, right? Yes. How old is he now? He's 30. Oh, was, all right. I thought he was two years younger than me. No, he's, no, he's 30. 1990. What'd you guys do for his birthday? Saw so he got a haircut. Good for him. Yeah, Thomas did that like last weekend. But uh, uh I forgot Thomas no. used to like cut all your hair. Yeah, he cut my hair for like a good five years. Yeah. Which is insane. How could you get an older <laughs> brother to just come to your house and cut your hair? As like and not like young. Like no. dude, this is my like <laughs> my life like <laughs> like I'm like my own person, my own money. That's what and I'm I still saying. don't go to a barber. That's wild. That's wild. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Have you gone uh, to a barber have... shop since? No, since COVID. Yeah. No, I I, w- I went to my barber's house and he cut me like on his stoop. Yeah. That's kind of dope. Yeah, it was it was cool. It was hot as fuck that day though. I was Ugh. sweating my ass off. That's why. That's terrible. How's the weather up there now? It's hot. It's humid, dude. Yeah. Like I have to go for a run right after we finish here, and I'm gonna die. No. Because the other day. I ran. You did I ran, the eight miles, dude. That was crazy. I did the eight miles, but it was because I did that at Astoria Park, and it's right on the water, so it's like breezy over there. Yeah, you get that push. And I just and I ran in a circle for an hour and a half until I hit eight miles, and everyone's been asking me if I'm a serial killer because of that. But it was easier that day because it was breezy. Like I then and then one day I ran two and a half miles, and it was humid, and I was drenched. Yeah. And I was fucking dead. Yeah. So it's humid as fuck today. So I know already I'm going to try and run three or four miles and I'm just be toast. What, what's that scale looking like? I haven't weighed myself in a while. I would assume it's around like 183. Let me see your butt. I, I, <laughs> I, can, tell, I can tell your weight by your butt. I guarantee you I'm, I, I could get it spot on. I'm not going to leave the room to go weigh myself though. I'm also not going to flash you my fucking aim. I tried, guys. I tried. I tried to get you that Think ass. Think you can fool me? <laughs> On my new set? My new set. New set looks nice. I like it a I lot. I want a kith mug? God. For the set? You, Greg, jack my whole kith swag. What do you mean? I had the first kith hat in the office. Now we all got kith hats? Kith has been a fucking very well-known New York City brand since I worked at, like, Elite Daily. Yeah? Did you have anything? No, because it's expensive. Joe. You're right. But I'm saying. <laughs> all I know all I know is this. I think I started at an office. You, you want credit for wearing a Kith hat? I think I just, I think I just pulled the I think I just pulled the drip in there. People saw it, thought it was cool, and now they want it. You got okay. a mug. You went. I you went the mug. next level, huh? You went the next level. You know what we should make Santagato Studios bear bricks. What the fuck is that? You never seen a bear brick? Google it. Bear brick. Yeah, bear brick. Oh, what the fuck? This is like Supreme makes these things, right? Yeah, they're cool. For what? You just you just put them in your yeah. You just put them in your room or like one hundred seventy dollars. Yeah, I'm saying we should just make a couple for the office. Twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah, bro. I'm telling Dude, you, Fendi makes expensive. a twenty five thousand dollar fucking bear made out of plastic. Yes, dude. Type up. Type in cause. Bear bricks. Look how fucking expensive those are. Cause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The artist. How do you spell that? K A W S. Bear brick. Look how expensive these fucking things are. A hundred and sixty thousand dollars for a plastic fucking ghost looking motherfucker. I'd rather buy a house. Yeah, or a fire ass whip. <laughs> <laughs> or a fire ass <laughs> whip. Danny, you can either buy a house or a Lamborghini. I'm like, oh, you know what? I could sleep in the Lamborghini. I can sleep in the Lambo. <laughs> How far did the seats go back? <laughs> I get to, I get a car and a house at the same time, dude. Brother? Dude, I'll never forget when Danny first got his Rolex. He was like, yeah, I got it because, like, you know, they appreciate so I could sell it for, like, profit one day. I'm like, you're not going to sell it, dude. <laughs> I got another one. 
Yep, 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 yep. Got a good deal um, on it, though. You got a good deal on it? Yeah. Oh, dude, I wanted to talk to you before, because when we were talking about, like, tops or whatever, um, it kind of reminded me. Because the other day, I forgot who I was talking to, but they brought up the name Dolores. And I was like, that's one of the worst names. Yeah, if you're not a fucking Westworld sentient, it's a terrible name. <laughs> <laughs> like, and what I said at the time was, like, the name Dolores... Like a baby born, let's say hypothetically today, it comes out and then the parents go, Dolores is shocking. It's like, I I feel like a baby named Dolores has polio and it also comes with like a bunch of rope for some reason. Just like rope with this. I don't know. It's like a weird fucking thing. Just to have a kid named after like. Like an old town in Iowa or some shit. It's like I, I'm all right. I'm good on this. Like who can Like uh, wait, there's a Dolores, Iowa. I'm sure there is. I guarantee <laughs> you, there's a there's a town called Dolores, Dolores, Iowa. No, it's just a bunch of uh, Doloreses that died in Des Moines. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, it's funny. So many Dolores's. Dolores is the ugly ass name. There's some fucking ugly ass fucking names out there, dude. Yeah, and I've been you know on record multiple times, and I'm sorry because I know some of your your moms or maybe even your name is this, but like Barbara. No, my name's Danny. No, (laughs) but I'm saying the name Barbara, not it's not a modern name. Barbara's gross. That Uh, shouldn't be a baby's name. That's like a seasoned woman's name, you know. Like she, she's like, and she's a strong woman. Don't get me wrong. And I feel like she left her cheating husband who works in advertising and she smokes cigarettes in the kitchen. Yeah. Like this is like this kind of woman, but you can't name a baby Barbara. Like you kind of have to earn that. Yeah. You know, po- you got to yeah. wear that polka, polka dot dress and like chain smoke cigarettes and then like pour a drink on your husband or something. Yeah. Like you're already starting your daughter out to be like, you know, fringe trash. Or just and you know I feel like Barbara's have like that big bushy beehive hair. Oh yeah 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 yeah, and it's always blown out, and they have those bangs over the front and long nails. And they have like that headband. I kind of like that headband bang look, to be honest with you. Though. Yeah yeah, it's not bad. It's not a bad look. Not all the headband Barb's are bad. bangs. Headband bangs. I'm into it for yeah. some reason. Yeah, I'm into yeah, it. Yeah. I like side swipe bangs. Like those are hot. I like sides. I like the side. I just like long hair though. Like you know, I like long <laughs> hair. Yeah. Like girls with short hair, I could do it, I guess. Like it doesn't you, bother me. But like I, I I love long hair. I like long hair too. Uh, you know what's another old name? Ruth. Yeah, Ruth sucks. Uh fucking I, Astrid? What the fuck? Astrid. Astrid is a name. That Is it? Yeah, Astrid is a name. Very popular name. It's fucking That's disgusting. A, that sounds like a type of like Asphalt or something like the Ash, street. The top three grossest girl names of all time are Astrid, Esther, and Gretchen. Disgusting. Oh, wait. I don't. I, uh, I don't know. It's Gretchen. The name, like, name, hey, Gretchen. That sounds like something you find in the bottom of the ocean. Gretchen. <laughs> yeah, they got all oh. kinds. They got uh, soft cell crabs. Got some sea Gretchens down there. Yeah. I feel like, you know what, just going back to Ruth, I just feel like that Ruth might be pretty, but like a classical kind of like pretty, not modern day. Like she wouldn't do well on Instagram, but she definitely like you see around in in the neighborhood and you're like, wow, that girl who has the lipstick and like the basket on the front of her bike is kind of cute. Yeah, I knew one Ruth growing up. It was my friend Matt's sister. Was she how, was she young or she was like nine? She was young. She was a couple. Well, she was older than us, but uh, she, yeah, she was cute. What about the name Agnes? Horrible. I just feel like that's a witch's name. Yeah, if you're not like if you don't own a cauldron or if you're not like killing people like in the Hunger Games, Agnes doesn't work. Yeah, you gotta like know minimum three spells if your name's gonna be agnes i just think agnes is a terrible name for a child why are you doing that what do you call him aggie yeah you do aggie ill <laughs> if you I don't mean, na- if you don't name your kid something extremely italian 
Or like new age, like no, like no names are really cool. What? Like, I, like if you name a kid Lorenzo, it's like, all right, that's cool. Like he has just like a cool Italian, like overly Italian name. See, like Italians though, they love to put, they love to name girls something Marie, and it drives me crazy. Yeah, they this is Ashley Marie, up. and this is Rebecca Marie, this they is Marie Marie, up. this is you know Maria Marie, and it's like, okay, they fuck uh, it up. We get it. Okay. Or, or like Rose, like Rose, like Rosemary. Oh, Rosemary, yeah, Rosemary. Yeah. That's Rosemary. another name. Like That's Rosemary, name. I just picture like she's part of like a group of women that are like stay-at-home moms, and they like you know complain about their husbands, and they drink sangria. Yeah, Ro, Ro, <laughs> bring the sangria <laughs> and the Newports. Ro, yeah. <laughs> or about yo, hold on. The like dudes' names that are really bad. The first one that pops into my head is Chet. Yeah, Chet's a Chet's a. You're you're automatically your fucking asshole. What is Chet, dude? That's what, not a name. What is, That's sh- sh- what is it even short for? I don't think it's short for anything. It's not. It's not a name though. It's the sound that a baseball makes when it hits your glove. Chet. It's not Chet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Catch that shit. That's a good analogy. I like that. One. I'm stealing. It's not that. a name, dude. Chet. You know what's the worst name for a guy ever? Guy. Guy. <laughs> Why do people name their kid Guy? Get creative. Anything but Guy. Yeah. I rather you're name almost my kid. at Gary. Just do that then. Like is a guy. People come up to me all the time because my name's Danny. It's not Daniel. Yeah. So like people will be like. uh like uh, when I meet people sometimes and they see like have to use my ID for something, they'll be like, "It's like, what's your name?" And be like, "Danny." They'd be like, uh, "So Daniel?" I'm like, "No, it's fucking Danny." But then I, I realized mean, it's not common. No, it's not common, but it's like my parents basically gave me a nickname for a full name. Yeah, <laughs> that would be like my parents name it. Some... It's the fifth one. It was the fifth kid. They were like Danny. They were like, "Just get him out of here." Yeah, like yo, get out of the room. Okay, we'll sort of sit with our baby. It's Danny. Leave. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird. You ever like think about it? It's like you're Joe, but you have a whole other name, Joseph. And then some people call me Joey. Joey, but like my f- actual name has a Y in it. Yeah, you're just Danny. That's so weird. You ever think about the letters in your name, or is this like a little too out there? This is. Very out there. Like, what the you, fuck are you talking about? Like, it's just weird that I have a Y in my name. Why? It's just like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, uh, like people like have weird names. Like, your full name is Joseph. You have a PH in your name that you never acknowledge. Yeah, I don't talk about it. You you don't like to talk about it. I don't. I don't. I don't like to it. talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. Joseph. The only one that has a name is Keith. Just Keith. Yeah. Thomas? Tom. Tommy? I call him Thomas, though. Or I call him Tom, like, I go back and forth. What does he prefer? A lot of people go, uh, I don't know. A lot of his friends growing up called him Tommy. Oh, that's cool. So he's got three names, too. Did you just fart? Yeah, I farted in the mic. You farted. Yeah, I also don't have underwear on, so I'm going to have to edit that out. Well, that also sounded like a bunch of bubbles. Yeah, I've kind of shit my pants. Ah! Yeah. You shit your <laughs> Dude, that fart just, it sounded like static. Like, it sounded electric. We're at a, a, an hour and four minutes. I've been holding that in for since two minutes. So I think it just, it, 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 it evolved from fart to shit. Yeah, dude, that is a, a situation. It sounded like there was some, you know. Yeah. What's your mom's wetness? middle name? My mom's middle name? Yeah. Are you going to give your kids middle names? I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) I really don't care. I don't know why middle names are a thing. I think it's for, like, if you're named after your dad. Does your dad have the same name? My parents are fucking idiots because they named – my dad's name is Joseph – his middle name begins with a P, and so does mine. So when I get mail, we don't know who's getting what. Yeah. Until we open it. 
And I open it. I'm like, oh, it's a firefighter pension. I never was on the job. This one's not mine. Yeah, but I'll take it. Uh, but I'll take it. <laughs> there was my, me and my dad have the same exact name. Down, down to the letter. So we have to constantly figure out whose mail is whose. Yeah, it's all the, same the time, thing. all the time. And on my credit, there was a credit card that was under his name that was put on mine. I'm not gonna say how much it is owed, but I'm just gonna say I was like, "Hey, man, let's figure this out." <laughs> <laughs> He's bringing your credit down. But, uh, yeah, but, like, you know, like, I could go. My dad actually has very good credit. Good for you. Shout out my dad's credit. Uh, but, you know, um, I just figure your dad's middle name is Paul. Did you just pull that out of your ass? Well, you said they both start with P. Are you guys yeah. both Patrick? No, just me. So he's You know Paul. what his middle name is? What is Why it? are you saying he's, so he's Paul? Like, there's only two P names in the entire world. Yeah, but, like, Catholic-wise. Dude, Peter. his name. Peter. His middle name is Pasquale. No, it's not. It is. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Joseph Pasquale. Dude, that's almost a cool name in itself. It sounds like someone drunk trying to say squirrel. <laughs> this is Pasquale. Yeah. Joseph, ah! Joseph Pasquale. Joseph yeah. Pasquale. Very Italian. Italian names slap the hardest. Uh, 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 you can't tell me that they don't. I'm going to have to name, like, a son Joe. I don't want to name my first kid after me, though. No, no, no. Do what my parents did. Just wait till the last one. Yeah, but I don't know how many I can even handle. But, like, I – and you also don't know what's going on. I mean, we are very boy-heavy in my family. My brother's having a boy. My sister's having a boy. And then, yeah. like, there's mad boys. Um, So, yeah. But – Well, at least like the San Agato name will live on. Yeah, my, my – uh, my dad's dad was Joe. Okay. I have no idea what his dad's name was. I just, you know, I haven't gone back that far. Um, and then, you know, obviously my dad's Joe and I'm Joe. So I'm, you know, I'll do a Joe. You'll throw a Joe in there just to do it. You want a junior? You want a, th the th what is this, the third, the fourth? I don't know. I don't know the rules, but yeah. But I would never like make it a thing to call them junior. Like I was oh, never I, a junior. I, I don't think you're technically a junior. It has to be the same exact name? The same exact name, I think. Like, I'm technically a junior because we have the same exact name. Yeah, see, like, now I would throw a middle name in there just so we wouldn't have the same name. Yeah. And so. I I have, like, one of those Italian names where it's L, lowercase O, and then capital P. Yeah. It's fire. Sick. Slaps. Slaps. My name's a sentence. No, it's not. Yeah, low, priori. Priori means, like, the first. Wait, you said... Yours is a, is a sentence? Well, low priori. It's like, I think it means like high priest or something like the first, the prior, the priest, some shit. <laughs> He's just making all no, this No, no, no. I remember like my dad had like this crest, this low priori crest. He had the family crest? Yeah, I think it means like high priest or some shit. I don't know. Damn, you guys were priests? I don't know what the fuck we were, to be honest. Bunch of assholes. We were. Santagato, you guys went around giving out people cats. Yeah, right. Like it's <laughs> Santagato, like we were like you know, you were the cat people. We were the cat. We had a, a cat church. <laughs> it was a church for cats. Like we had mass, and it was just cats in there. Only. <laughs> you guys prayed the cats. Yeah, uh, I have another fucking terrible guy name too. Besides guy, is um. I, I love him to death. The name Ralph is terrible. <laughs> Why? It's just Ralph. Rolf is bad, too. Rolf? Rolf. Yeah, that's bad. And I don't like I don't like Fred. Fred. Yeah, I don't like Fred either. Fred's kind of ugly. Like, hey, it's my son Fred. Fred just sounds like a... Like, when I hear Fred, I just think of, like, like a brown leather couch. Yeah, like, and I automatically think if your name's Fred, you're stupid. Is that is that bad? I, I don't know. Hey, what's up, know, Fred? I'm like, take it easy on Fred. Like, he's a little stupid. You have, do you ever have names that remind you of colors? Yeah, Abigail reminds me of like green. Really, I get purple from Abigail. Do you? Fred Fred gives me brown. Red. Also, Fred gives another, me red. To be honest. Really? Yeah. What about Bernard? Brown. 
it's so brown for me. Also, Bernard, I just feel like is the name of a man that has so much nose hair. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just like Bernard's got it coming out of his fucking, you know? There's nothing better than when a name fully matches the way somebody looks. Oh, I love that. It's the best. It's the yeah. best. Like an old Bernard, and he's just like, he, he lives in like a, a wood cabin. And he's got nose hair, like just long nose hair. And he's got a dog that's like, like fucking can't see. coax cables. Yeah. They're <laughs> fucking gross. Yeah, exactly. What do you think I look like? What your name could yeah, be? Yeah, give me my top three could be names. All right. I, I, then, just... And then I'll do yours. Okay, right off the bat, like there's a Hector in there. I don't think it's up high. I think it's in there, though. I think there's a Hector in there. I don't think it's up high. I think you do look like a Michael to me also. Okay. I have a brother and, named Michael, so that's close. And I think you also have some, like, uh, fucking, um, damn, I'm trying to think of something right now. Maybe like a, like a Jorge. Okay. Two Spanish ones. Or like Javier-ish. Somewhere Javier. a J. Somewhat a J. Jorge Javier. All right. Could be works. a George. Could be a or George. George. Or George. I could see that. I could see that. I got three for you. First one that comes off, like uh, like Luke. Oh, God. Yeah, you could be a Luke. Can you imagine how much more I would suck if my name was Luke? Oh, you'd be such a fucking douche. Oh, God. Uh, I would be playing, like, lacrosse. So much cornhole and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get a Luke vibe. I also get, like, a small Dennis vibe. I'm Dennis-y? Yeah, yeah, like you, you like you could be Dennis. Like your name could be Dennis. Dennis. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also like another one that I get from you is like you're like one shade of eye being blue from like a Tyler. Oh God! Please no! Yeah, I don't want to be yeah, a Tyler. You could be a Tyler if your Can eyes were a little bluer. Light? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Luke. Yeah, you look. What like color's Luke. Luke for you? What color do you think of when you hear Luke? I think of like a like a turquoise. Wait, 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 wait. What? I need to look up turquoise. You know turquoise. Because like, I do, but I don't. I get it mixed up with. Oh no! Yeah, cause I get. Isn't this in like teal the same thing? Yeah, basically. All right, good. Because I thought I got them mixed up. But yo, close, which is weird, because when I hear Luke, I think of like a baby blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like th there's something bluish about that name. That's so weird that that names have colors. Yeah. What do you think? What, what does Danny say? Yellow. Nice. <laughs> You're. It's like a vibrant name, I feel like. I get Joe. It's like a it's like a crimson, like a garnet. Joe is like an earth tone. It's very like Yeah, that's why nothing. it's like it's like a it's like a garnet. It's like a dark as dark as red as you could be, probably. Yeah, I I don't like I don't think it's like a maroon. No, no, I, no, no, no. And I don't think it's that dark. I think it's like a light like it's like be uh, it's not beige. It's Look, not great. It's yeah. not a great color. <laughs> I don't get a good color from that. You think Joe's a nice name? I, I think it's 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 a perfectly good name. It's a it's a doable name. Yeah. It's not you know it's not it's not gonna make you turn your head. No 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 you're not gonna go crazy over it. No it's just like oh Joe and then I go oh, okay. All right I'm gonna throw out some names speed Go round here don't fuck it colors. up all right go <clears throat> I I just need like a beat and then I'll get the color go ahead all right uh Susan uh pinkish red okay all right all right april uh that's blue okay but like uh, on a lighter side like an indigo okay or is that right. darker I don't know. S scott scott is white scott's white it's just white like regular just just like white yeah just like a plain white okay patrick green alexandra Ooh, like a magenta. What color is magenta? Like purple? Yeah, like a light purple. Like a light purple? That's a good color. That's a good I color. Think. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to give you three more, okay? So I want to okay. give you a little time to like get them. 
Yeah, yeah. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. I get you like a what's... pink white. Huh? I get like a pinkish white. You know what's crazy? Like when you said Elizabeth, I got two colors. Okay. I, I got green and white. Oh. That's so weird. Dude, this is like kind of blowing my mind. Because like I wish I was making this up, but like when you say the names, things just go off in my head and like I have colors. I never knew that I had this. <laughs> this is so weird. Like it started as a joke, but now I'm like, there's fucking colors to these names. I love that you just said this, like you're like a medium or like you have some like connection <laughs> to a higher power. That's so crazy that I have this skill. I never knew I had this. <laughs> oh my god. All right, what about like people in the office? I right, uh, what about Josh? Josh might actually be uh, a red name. Okay. What about Frankie? Frank, uh, f- the just Frankie. 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 I would say it's like a it's brownish, but like I also get a, like an orange feel there. There's some orange. There's some orange in there. All right. What about Diane? Diane's brown. Diane's brown. That's my mom's name. She's also brown. Okay, so that's good. <laughs> He passed. <laughs> he passed. He has powers. <laughs> the kid has powers. I can't believe that I have this. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to probably do this all day now. Like, I'm going to bounce this off of people for sure. Yeah, see if they have, like... Like, color... This is kind of weird, but, like, sometimes I could, like, put colors to emotions. Like, if you're feeling blue? Yeah, like... Uh, like I think that comes from something. Like I'm very influenced by colors. Like like aesthetically, like I, like colors influence me a lot. Yeah, I mean that's why like I can't like you know, we talk about the warm lighting and the overhead lights. Like I can't have overhead lights and have this blinding <laughs> What the fuck is that? <laughs> blinding. <laughs> this blinding fucking like <laughs> white Ah! No, like no, I'm in no, a doctor's no. office. Like I need warm, like orangey and like cozy. Oh, That's what man. I'm saying. It's like th- there's a reason why walls are a color. Daniel Fiore, everybody. Thank you, guys. <laughs> That's my time. Good night. Oh, let's get to these ads. Yeah, let's get to <laughs> these ads. I don't know. I just feel like I feel like uh, colors. Like I'll get dressed, and by the way, like what I'm wearing, like subconsciously, I feel like my mood dressed me that way. Yeah, I think that's a very real thing. Yeah. Like, I don't think, that, like, you know. There's, like, mood dressing. Yeah, like a mood ring. Yeah. Do you believe in mood rings? I did for a short period of time, and then my dad debunked it for me. Why? He, like, put it in the microwave, and he's like, see? Yeah, he was just like, yeah, it's like a temperature thing, or, like, it's just random, and I was just like, oh, I'm fucking sad. Do you remember when I... <laughs> I remember Do I told remember- my dad, I was like, my mood ring's like this, and he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Dude, re- <laughs> let's get out of mood ring. I did. I saved up for it too. You bought it with your own money? No, I saved up fucking tokens from a fucking uh, arcade. And then you bought a mood ring. I literally went to an arcade and said, "Today's the day I'm gonna get this goddamn mood ring." And I played so much goddamn skee ball. Yeah. Oh, like, I love skee ball. Yeah, dude. When you get that 100 all the way at the tippy top, I lose it. In the corner? Oh my god. I love you, that shit. Are you a good bowler? Fucking no. I'm like very okay. Like that's something I want to do. Like when the world goes back to being normal, I want to go bowling. Are you good at bowling? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you usually bowl? Uh, not local. like heyday, but like, what can you bowl? In like my right heyday, now? when like, I used to bowl all the time, it would be like 190 to like low 200s, like nothing crazy. Yeah. But, like, I, I remember I was just very consistent. Like, I was consistent. There was a period where I was consistently in the twos. Yeah, like, I will – I am not consistent whatsoever. When I'm, like, on, I can bowl, like, a 160. Yeah. And when I'm off, boys bowling 96. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, dude, I haven't bowled in, like, five years. But there was a period where this place, Home Field Bowl, where I grew up, would have, like – to what, buy one game, get one free. So we would just go bowl all the time, and I became filthy. Yeah, and before we wrap up here, I just want to say, bowling alleys, let's make these shoes a little cooler. Yeah, like put some fucking lights in them or some shit. 
Or like, do they make them? I heard that they make them that way so people don't steal them. Yeah, of course, because you, you, everyone's going to know you stole them. But, I mean, wait until that bowling shoe comes back in style. Then we're going to be stealing all of them. I'm going to wear that around the office, and then everyone's going to steal that look from me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 uh, yes, yes. Anyway, Danny, where can they find you? Uh, at Danny LaPriori on Instagram and Twitter, and also on OnlyFans, OnlyFans.com slash Danny LaPriori. I will be posting some Q&As on there with some fans. Uh, also, just doing some like other sketches and a lot of like rap music type shit on there. Sweet. Yeah. Um, you you guys can uh, find me at Joe Santagato on all social media and go check out our show on Instagram at The Basement Yard. We post clips and whatnot from there. Um, and our Patreon, patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. If you sign up, you get every episode a week early and uh, daily content from me and Danny. Um, that's up there uh, also. Um, fucking also, I am making a return to Twitch. This is going to come out, and I'll probably already have streamed. Um, but if you go to twitch.tv slash Joe Santagato and follow that, you'll get a notification. Um, but I think mostly I'm just going to use it just to, like, be live streaming and just interact and stay engaged with everyone uh, in the thing. And, like, sometimes play, like, video games with, like, Keith or whatever. Um, but, yeah, so go check that out. And, again, these tie-dye, the tie-dye drop with these and some other stuff that I have. Um, that's going to be coming out on July 1st on the store.com. So be ready for that. And that is all. See you guys next time. Ah!